Hello everyone, welcome back to another playoff game review video to discuss. We're discussing games that happened over on Saturday and Monday. And looking ahead, the games are happening later today on Tuesday and tomorrow on Wednesday. With all that coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Intent Hockey Channel. Before we begin this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you all for your support and the bills with overview guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below and don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section below so you can discuss in today's video. Now as usual, quick game review video here. We have the games that happened over on Sunday and Monday to talk about, as well as the games that are gonna be happening later today on Tuesday and Wednesday to preview. So we got a lot of things to talk about here. So first, on Sunday we saw four games of initial action in the playoffs. First, the color avalanche would score four straight goals after the Winnipeg Jets tied a one to beat the Winnipeg Jets in game four or five to one as they take a three to one series lead. So very good stuff there for Colorado. Nichushkin had a hat trick for the Avalanche. McCarr and Lekkinen both had a goal and an assist. And McKinnon had two assists for the Avalanche in the win, while Schmidt with one goal score for a Jets in the loss as they failed to tie up the series and have lost three straight in the series. So bad stuff there for the Jets. Then we saw a miraculous comeback from the Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks are down 3 1 late in the game to the National Predators. But they miraculously came back. They would score a late goal, I think it was with around two uh, minutes left. Then they scored another goal with six seconds left in regulation to tie the game up. And then in overtime, thanks to this goal here from last Lindholm or all Square Sports Net, the Canucks would wind up winning it in overtime. Very good win there for the Canucks as they down the Predators 4-3 to three in overtime. And Vancouver takes a 3-1 series lead. Very good stuff there for Vancouver. Besser had a hat trick in regulation. And Miller, who had three assists, both the three-point nights. Well, Lindholm who had the OT winner and an assist for a goal and an assist. Also scored for the Canucks in the win. So a very good win there for Vancouver. Oldrankowski scored his first career playoff goal. Nyquist and Forsberg were three goal scorers for Predators in the OT losses. They failed to tie the series. So bad stuff there for Nashville. Then we saw in game four of the series, New York Rangers uh, give up a couple of leads, but recovered, took a lead in the third period, and wound up being the Washington Capitals for a two. As they sweep the series and moving on to round two after a 4 nothing series sweep of the Washington Capitals. So very good stuff there for New York. York. Panarin had a goal and an assist. Zabanja had two assists and Kako Trojic and Roslovic also scored for the Rangers in the win. Oferavari and Lapierre, who scored his first career playoff goal, were two goal scorers for the Capitals in the loss as they are now eliminated from playoff contention. So bad stuff there for Washington as the Rangers move on. Then we also saw in game four of the series the Edmonton Oilers open the scoring and hold on to down the LA Kings 1-0 as they are now up 3-1 in the series. Bouchard was long goal scorer for the Oilers in the win, while Skinner stopped all third to Chelsea facing the shell in the win for the Oilers. Well, David Riddick was making his first uh, start of the series, stopped 12 of 13 shots in the loss, as LA fails to tie the series up at two. So bad stuff there for LA. Those were the four games we saw yet on Sunday. Going to two games that happened yesterday on Monday. First, in game five of the series, we saw the uh, Florida Panthers score four straight goals in the third period and pulled away as they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning 6-1 to one as they win the first round series over the Tampa Bay Lightning and beat the Tampa Bay Lightning for the first time in the playoff series 4-1. to one. So very good stuff there for Florida. Uh, Verhage and Barkov both had two goals and an assist, both had three-point nights. Mikola had a goal, his first career playoff goal, and an assist. Kachuk had two assists, and Rodriguez also scored for the Panthers in the win, while Hedman was the only goal scorer for the Lightning in the loss as they had been eliminated from playoffs. So bad stuff there for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And lastly, we saw the Dallas Stars score three and answer goals, including this one here from Ty Delandria, a local score of Sportsnet. But Delandria was able to get the uh, game lean goal at that point in the second period, and would hold on to be the game winner as the Stars scored three and answer to come back and down the Vegas Golden Knights 4-2, as they take both games in Vegas, and the series is now tied at two. So interesting stuff there. The only series that's a 2-2 series this year in the first round. The Donov, Johnston, Delandrea, and Hintz were the four goal scorers for the Stars in the win. Almadio and Eichel were two goal scorers for the Knights and the losses who failed to go up 3-1 in the series. So bad stuff there for Vegas. So some interesting games happened over the past couple of days. Interesting to see uh, Florida with their winning game five and New York with their winning game four. Both officially move on to the second round. The first two teams to do so. Interesting to see Vancouver pull off a miraculous win and go up 3-1. Interesting to see the Oilers hold on for a huge win to go up 3-1. Interesting to see Colorado continue to dominate to go up 3-1. And interesting to see Dallas have a really resilient effort to tie the series up at 2. So very good stuff there from the past couple of days. Now going over to the games that are going to be happening over the next couple of days.
first, uh, the Boston Bruins are playing the Toronto Maple Leafs later today at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Bruins are going to look to try and end the series in five games and move on to round two today. The Leafs are going to try and send it back to uh, Toronto with the game six. At 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, the Carolina Hurricanes are going to be looking to end the series and uh, face the New York Rangers in round two. Well, the New York Islanders are going to be looking to send this one to six and uh, keep the series alive heading back to New York. At 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, the Jets are trying to keep the series alive and send it back back to uh, Colorado in a 3-2 series. Well, the Avalanche will try and take this one in five and uh, go on to face the winner of the Dallas Stars and Vegas Golden Knights series. Well, at 7 p.m. Pacific time, the Canucks will try and move on to the second round and take on the winner of the Oilers and Kings. Well, the Predators will try and extend this series and uh, send it back to Nashville with a 3-2 deficit. So some interesting games are going to be happening later today. And then tomorrow on Wednesday, there are only two games in NHL action. At 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, the Knights and Stars play game five in Dallas. Road team has won all games so far and the uh, winner of that game will be taking a 3-2 series lead back to Vegas so that'll be an interesting game. Meanwhile at 7pm Pacific time the Oilers have to try and move on and uh, advance to the second round taking on an LA Kings team is trying to send it back to LA for a game 6 on I think it's Friday. So some interesting games are going to be happening over the next couple of days. Interesting games are going to be happening later today and also lots of interesting games are going to be happening tomorrow. So definitely I'll tell you guys thoughts on all that down in the comment section below. What do you think of all the games that happened over the past couple of days? Any of the stuff from you from over on Sunday or Monday. Looking ahead to any of the games happening later today on Tuesday or over on Wednesday. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you're surprised that the Rangers and the Panthers are the first two teams to move on. And if there are any surprises in this series too. Definitely love to hear your guys' thoughts on all that. Not only comments, but also on what I'm for today. Remember to like this video. And if you like to remember to subscribe down below. Thank you for all of your support. And you'll be able to with all of you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. And don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. So let's listen to this video. Also a blog, talk about news, rumors, analysis stuff like that so you can check that out link in the description below and come to see you guys all for next video see you guys soon